I was so happy when I figured out how to do that. And today we're gonna teach you how to build that same door with the Alex Workshop Tools in Source 2. All right, first thing you wanna do is just go to File and Start New from Template. Just, it's a whole lot easier than having to put all the base down. This is really just so we can learn things. So you're gonna have a big box, but where do you wanna put a door to? That's the big thing. So first thing I like to do is just kinda of drag out a hallway as I'll say, drag it out, lift it up, make sure it's about the same height, doesn't really matter, all that. Now you look, it's basically a box. We wanna click it, make sure face is selected, press F and then boom, we turn all those walls around and now we have an empty box of walls on the inside, kind of like a hallway. Now, what do we need? It's just a wall. We wanna go through there, so we need a door. The first thing we're gonna do is hop down into the models and we're gonna search for a door frame. I just type in door frame basic and then you pick the first one and we're gonna drop it into our scene you click it and just drop it on in there now it didn't come in normal so we're gonna have to tessellate it we're gonna have to move it around we're gonna have to rotate it a little bit but that's no problem i lift it up a little bit i, I just kind of <laughs> I, I i'm not sure yet exactly how to get them in the right way but i'm pretty sure there's a way because i pulled in some doors normally but this isn't really the biggest deal if you have to do it. So we rotated it. Now we're gonna just drop it down, make sure that it's in place. I like to kind of move myself through and just make sure that it's there in the world. Now, as you see, we have a door frame, but that doesn't really work like we need to. We wanna see through it. We, we need the door part. So how do we get there first? Now, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go back over to our faces tab and we're gonna cut out the wall. But as you see, the grid is really, really big right now. We can't really get in as fine as we'd want. So we press the bracket bars. Uh, we can make the grid tighter and wider. Uh, so we make it really nice and small and fine. And then we can go in and we can draw these lines. So all we have to do is basically draw out the face within the door. Now I press the C to bring up the cut tool. And then we draw this out. And then you're in your faces mode. Make sure you're in faces. Just click that. And then all you have to do is cut that out and then boom. You can see straight through it. Now, this is a little deceiving because there still is the other side. So you need to go over to the other side and just do the same thing as well. Now, there are other ways to do this, but if you do it this way, you keep the rest of that face intact. So if you have any kind of meshes or anything you put on it later or any kind of things, you can keep it as one big face rather than a couple different faces. So I found this is the better way to do it rather than cutting it into three different pieces. Uh, once again, make sure our face is selected, select that face, and then we just cut it out. Now, we're cooking with fire. So now we basically have the basic door frame going on. What we need is the door. So we're gonna go over to our assets area and we're gonna type in prop and we're gonna get a physics door asset that we're gonna put in there. So this does basically all the work for you. All you have to do is drop this square in here, right? And then we're gonna go over to our objects. We're gonna click on that little square and then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna set it so that instead of just a square, it's the door. Uh, so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna search for that door model. You see, I already had it up, but all you have to really do is type in door underscore. I did the 1A, I just get this first door super easy. And then bang, we just, there it is, there's our door. Now, before we mess around with anything else, we can do a lot about that door here. First thing I like to do is just change the color of the door. Why not? Who wants another white boring door? Now we got an awesome blue door. Another thing you wanna do to make the door a little bit more realistic Realistic is if you go down in these properties, you can make it so that it only opens one way, just like a normal door would, forwards or backwards. So uh, when you get in there, it feels a little bit more realistic. And I, I, you can have it open both ways if that's the way you want to go, but um, I found it's easier. So now all we want to do is piece that door into place. So I'm just going to go around, make sure that it's nice, make sure you're happy with the way that it's situated, make sure you get all, all comfy and cozy in there. I like to get in there real tight. I know that it probably doesn't have enough to be this tight because really we're just making this to show you, but hey, I like to make sure I get my camera in there tight. Looks like I needed a teeny bit more and really that is just about it. Now let's hop into VR and check this baby out. Yep, yep, that's our door. And watch, 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 watch. Oh yes, we can open it, yes. And we can walk right on through. And that is really all you have to do. Now you're gonna wanna do a whole lot more other than just build a door, but at least now you know how to build a door between your different boxes and you don't have to put the door. You could really just cut out shapes with the cut tool that we showed you earlier and you don't have to have the door. The door is just kind of like that extra little piece of polish. So yeah, enjoy. Make some cool stuff. So hopefully that was helpful and hopefully you learned a lot from all the little tips on how to get there. Please, if you want any more videos, I promise you I'm working on them and getting them out as quick as I can with much more depth and in details. But please, if there are any requests, let me know in the comments below. I'm Frank, it's The Game Show. We'll see you again soon.